Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello! And today we are watching Monty Python's The Life of Brian. What'd you think of the Holy Grail? I really enjoyed the Holy Grail. I think it was just like a series of really great skits, I guess? Yeah, it's that just... That all kind of culminated into one story. Yeah, there is a story, but it's also just a ton of funny stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's one of my favorite comedies, so it was awesome to kind of share that with you. Mm -hmm. And we enjoyed it so much that we immediately wanted to go on to another Monty Python property. Yeah. And a lot of people recommended Life of Brian. Yes, yeah, this was highly recommended on Holy Grail. So I'm really excited for this. I think that the Monty Python group is super clever, funny, and they are really good at kind of morphing into all the different characters that they yeah, play. Yeah, they play a ton of different people. Um, but it's still like obvious that it's them, but it's still <laughs> hilarious. So I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Is this the uh, North Star? Just like, <laughs> right here. Wow, they actually had a, a camel budget. Oh yeah, unlike their horse budget. <laughs> I guess they only needed three camels. <laughs> Maybe they're cheaper than horses. <gasps> Praise <laughs> unto you, Brian. I'm surprised one of them didn't play the baby. So did they go to the wrong? <laughs> the wrong baby? Oh, there we go. <laughs> They missed that the first time. <laughs> oh, poor Brian. <laughs> Some more of this awesome animation. <laughs> he had arms and legs. <laughs> arms, legs, and feet, hair. That's real cool. Yeah. Definitely some of the most creative opening credits. Oh, I didn't realize that was a person. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, okay. Is everyone gonna stop for tea? <laughs> Surprised you can kind of hear them still. Hey, <laughs> That's got a stoning. You can go to a stoning anytime. <laughs> Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. I wasn't. <laughs> Do you mind? I can't hear a word he's saying. <laughs> Don't you swear, my wife. Shut up so we can hear what he's saying, <laughs> big nose. Oh. I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> I'll take you to fucking clean it. Yeah, he's asking for it. Don't pick your nose. <laughs> oh, that's nice, in it? I'm glad they're getting something because they had a hell of a time. What's your last warning? Oh, do pipe down. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Brian. I don't have stoned him before we get there. Beard, madam. Oh, look, I haven't got time to go to no stonings. <laughs> Oh, not like these, sir. <laughs> these are special stones. Can I have a flat one, Mum? Shh. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> huh? Local boy. Oh, good. <laughs> Local boy. Man, what what entertainment there used to be back in the day. Oh. <laughs> Just all the fake beards on. That piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> it's all women. <laughs> women here today <laughs> very well <laughs> this did he mean oh. Oh, <laughs> who threw that stone come on we started <laughs> say jehovah once more <gasps> right we did say jehovah <laughs> oh no now there's three of them <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> <laughs> did you say ex-leper? <laughs> yeah, did he get better? Cured? Just a bloody miracle, sir. God bless you. One minute I'm a leper with a trait, next minute my livelihood's gone. <laughs> Half a dinari for his bloody life story. <laughs> Is he hopping like that? I don't know. I almost stepped in poop. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have all this. Your father isn't Mr. Cohen. He was a centurion in the Roman army. As much gold as I could eat. What? Having his way with me, Ed. Boom! Well, how are you then, officer? <laughs> oh, man. 
his head didn't come with it. Children's matinee? <laughs> Might as well. Thank you. <laughs> Wolf nipple chips. <laughs> Wolf nipple chips? To rid himself or herself. Or herself. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Or sister. Or sister. Where was I? <laughs> I think you finished. <laughs> I think you finished. Yeah. Oh. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> He's just gonna get tired. He's gonna get tired first. <laughs> the big guy, probably. Are you the Judean people's front? Fuck off. <laughs> well, the people's front of Judea. <laughs> oh, wow. Can I join your group? Nah, no, piss off. <laughs> I hate the Romans already. You'd have to really hate the Romans. I do. A lot. Right, you're in. <laughs> the Judean popular people front. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These are all way too similar. The people's front of Judea, splitters. We're the people's front of Judea. <laughs> he is getting tired. I think I'm about to have a cardiac arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he wins. It's like, let me out. <laughs> uh oh. What is he writing, though? Romans go home. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Annie? Romani? <laughs> blah, blah. Ete. Ete. He's helping you. Dom. Dom. Ah. <laughs> now, write it out a hundred times. Yes, sir. <laughs> write it a hundred times. It's not done by sunrise. I'll cut your balls off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is going to be all over. Did he finish? He better have. Now, don't. Okay. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> now these ones are gonna be pissed. <laughs> we inform Pilot that she's in our custody and forthwith issue our demand. Two days to dismantle the entire apparatus of the Roman Imperial Estate. That's a lot to do in two days. And what have they ever given us in return? The aqueduct? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, they did give us that. Uh, that's true, yeah. And the sanitation. <laughs> and the roads. Well, yeah, obviously yeah. not roads. I mean, the roads go without sand, don't they? Education. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right, fair enough. And the wine. <laughs> it done quite a lot. And it's safe to walk in the streets at night now, Reg. <laughs> what have the Romans ever done for us? Brought peas. <laughs> Shut up! Man, based off of that, the Romans need to go down. <laughs> it's all clear. <laughs> All the way around the palace. Oh, great. <laughs> it's overachiever. There is not one of us here who would not gladly suffer death. Uh, well, one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Brian, that is called Brian. <laughs> That's terrible. Our commander unit will have been <laughs> cleaning all the. <laughs> will not be taking part in any terrorist action as he has a bad back. <laughs> There is a Roman feast later in the evening, so we must move fast. And don't wear your best sand. Oh. We enter the Caesar Augustus Memorial Sewer. <laughs> what kind of drawing is this? <laughs> wow. It's fancy in there. Yeah. <laughs> What's your group doing here? We're going to kidnap Pilate's wife, take her back, <laughs> issue demand. That's hot, Glenn. <laughs> we thought of it first. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, a couple of years ago. <laughs> they don't have any demands. Free face. Oh, oh, oh. oh, brothers, we should be struggling together. <laughs> Surely we should be united against the common enemy. The Judean people's front. I wonder if we're going to get to meet them. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my gosh. Oh. It's going perfect. It's just Brian now. <laughs> you lucky, lucky bastard. <laughs> you saw him spit in my face. <laughs> what wouldn't I give to be spat in a face? <laughs> they had me in manacles. Manacles! Ooh. This guy has it way worse. I've been here five years. They only hung me the right way up yesterday. Oh, you'll probably get away with crucifixion. Crucifixion? <laughs> what? First offense. First offense. I want you to move me to another cell. <laughs> <laughs> They've 
favoritism. <laughs> Shut up, you! Now, every night they take me down for 20 minutes, which I regard as very fair. <laughs> very fair. Shut up! Right. <laughs> Terrific race, the Romans. All he wants is just to be spit on. Throw him to the floor. Oh! Ah. <laughs> Brian. Brian, eh? No, no, Brian. Ow! The little rascal has spirit. Has what, sir? Spirit? <laughs> yes, he did, sir. <laughs> Doing do. Oh, uh, about 11, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Take him, St. Joy, and very roughly. Ah! <laughs> throw him to the floor again, sir. Oh, yes, throw him to the floor, please. <laughs> ah! A woman? No, no, Roman. <laughs> Nautius Maximus. <laughs> I think it's a joke, sir. <laughs> oh, biggest dickers, sir. Biggest dickers. <laughs> I have a very great friend in Rome called Biggest Dickers. Silence! What is all this insolence? Wait, your biggest dickers hears of this. <laughs> Wait! Biggest. <laughs> oh no. Dickus. Will I say the name? <laughs> Biggus. <laughs> Dickus. <laughs> he has a wife, you know. Oh no. You know what she's called? Oh god. Incontinentia. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> what? A spaceship? What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are they going? <laughs> Just taking Brian to space. Oh, they're under attack! I didn't even realize that. Oh. Where are they gonna <laughs> land? Just right back. Oh, <laughs> lucky bastard. <laughs> they're, they're still right there. <laughs> Just a random space battle. Jeez. This guy's insane. Oh. <laughs> Beard. What? Twenty shekels. Right. What? Well, we're, we're supposed to haggle. <laughs> no, 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 I just paid you. What? I want twenty for that. Give now, are you telling me that's not worth twenty shekels? <laughs> no. Nineteen? <laughs> you just said it was worth twenty. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> What's going on? All right, I'll give you ten. That's more like it. Are you trying to insult me? Seventeen? <laughs> no, no, no. That's too high. Do fifteen. <laughs> oh, tell me what to say, please. <laughs> oh. Run. Sixteen. Done. Look at it. It's worth ten if it's worth a shekel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, he just ran off. I second that, Reg. Thank you, Loretta. Oh, nice, Loretta. So you unite us all and look out. <laughs> <laughs> they hide pretty well. No, they don't. <laughs> Fuck her off. Oh no, he led them right to him. We have reason to believe you may be eyed in one Brian of Nazareth. My eyes are old and bent. Quiet! Silly person. God! <laughs> Silly person. Oh no! How are they all gonna fit in there? There's so many people. Crucifixion. Oh. Nasty, eh? <laughs> Could be worse. Crucifixion last hours! It's... Well, at least it gets you out in the open air. <laughs> You're weird. They find no one. Couldn't find anything, sir. <laughs> It's all right there. And Brian didn't <laughs> fall. Oh. Found his spoon, sir. Well done, Sergeant. <laughs> we'll be back. Oddball. <laughs> Oddball. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Better start speaking something. Don't pass judgment on other people, or else you might get judged, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> How much do you want for the good? I don't think you can have it. Have it? Yes. <laughs> don't you want a heckle? No. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm worrying about what you've got against birds. <laughs> Consider the lily. He's oh, having a go at the flowers oh, now. <laughs> Anti-birds, anti-flowers. To them only shall be given, shall be 
given. What? <laughs> Coast is clear. Hey, what were you going to say? Nothing. Yes, you were going to say. <laughs> it must be a secret. What is the secret? This is the secret of eternal life. No, tell us, boss. We were your first. <laughs> this is his gourd. We will carry it for you, master. <laughs> master? He's been taken up. Oh my god. Now he has a following. So inspirational. Oh. He has given us his time. Oh, he has given us. <laughs> Cast uh, off the what? shoes. Follow the gore. Follow the gore. Give me your shoe. <laughs> this already interpreted into multiple different things. Must be so painful with one I know, shoe right? on. Path down to the river. <laughs> oh my foot! Oh, shh. eighteen years of total silence. Oh no! So you could be quiet for another five minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm alive! This is the exact opposite of what you need, Brian. There is no food in this high mountain. Juniper bushes over there. A miracle. <laughs> a miracle! I say, those are my juniper bushes! They are a gift <laughs> from God! <laughs> Why is he naked? The master has healed me! I didn't touch him! <laughs> now I can see! Oh. <laughs> what the? To the world for 18 years till he came along! Oh, <laughs> Another <yes>. miracle! <laughs> I say you are Lord and I should know I followed a few! <laughs> Only the true messiah denies his divinity. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I am the messiah. <laughs> Sire, the chosen one. No, he's not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, this escalated. This poor guy. Well, they're oh, leaving they him. left him. Brian? What an adventure. <laughs> oh, okay. <No! laughs> Expecting that? <laughs> no. Hang on, mother. Mother. They they started following me yesterday. Well, they can stop following you right now. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. The Messiah. <laughs> they think I'm the Messiah, mum. <laughs> what have you? Oh, your son is oh, a born leader. A new world, a better future. Who's that? <laughs> she. She's all about it now. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, then you can see him for one minute. Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to follow anybody. You're all individuals. We're all individuals. <laughs> that was the Oh, yes, it was. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if it really was a minute or not. Are you a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, things have really escalated for Brian. Those possessed by devils don't keep them under control. <laughs> possessed by devils. He's gonna have to find a way out of here. Yeah. Very attractive. It's our revolution. We can all do it together. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, Brian, you've given us a good run for our money. For what? Who's fictions today? 139, sir. Nice round number, eh, Biggers? <laughs> <laughs> That's Biggers Dickers. Hell Caesar! Hell Fever! Oh no. Rattled by a wabble of wadi wibble. <laughs> a bit fundraiser. <laughs> Take him away. I may be of some assistance if there is a sudden crisis. <laughs> Gabbing on about it is completely pointless and it's getting us nowhere. <laughs> This calls for immediate discussion. Oh my god. Something's actually happening, Reg! Oh! <laughs> they need to talk about it first. A little ego trip from the feminists? What? <laughs> oh, sorry, Loretta. Sorry. <laughs> Crucifixion? Yes. <laughs> yes. Line on the left, one cross each. <laughs> uh, no, freedom. I said I hadn't done anything so I could go free and live on an island somewhere. Off you go then. Nah, man, you're pulling your leg. It's crucifixion. Oh my god. 
out of the door. Yeah, I'll head away, out the door, one and cross each, line on the left. <laughs> you almost should have got away. Rome is your friend. <laughs> to release a wrongdoer from our prison. <laughs> I shall release Roderick. <laughs> Sir, we don't have a Roderick either. Oh, no. Uh, several seditious scribes from Caesarea. Let me speak to a man. Oh. I'm from the Sadducee Strangler. Poor Biggis. How many have come through? Oh dear. <laughs> I'll make it 90. Uh, 90. 96, sir. No. <laughs> Dave, um, mate, sir. How did he get the job? <laughs> <laughs> They're all just dying from laughter. Crucifixion party. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Hard up against the cross beam, you'll be there in no time. You lucky bastards! <laughs> this you guy. lucky! <laughs> Let oh. me shoulder your burden, brother. It's <laughs> gross! <laughs> Not my cross! Shut up! Get on with it! Oh my god! <laughs> he had you there, mate, didn't he? <laughs> no! Wiggin' oh. Brian! Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Are you just sent it for crucifixion, sir? We do have a Brian. Oh, wow. Release! Brian! <laughs> All right, Brian. <laughs> you mean I might have to give up being crucified in the afternoons? <laughs> we got lumps of it around the back. What? <laughs> this is gonna take way too long. And they gone! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyway, get on with the story. Oh my god. The motion to get on with it passed with a one abstention. And now we that we go with that further. <laughs> Let's just go. I'm going to punch you, Stoa, you <laughs> Roman. Hands up, all those who don't want to be crucified here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not my cross. What? Dan, <laughs> um, I haven't got all day. No, of course. Um, <laughs> no, uh, will you let me down if he comes back? Yeah, yeah, we'll let you down. <laughs> So many people coming for him. I know, right? But it's already too late. We're going so slow. Now we've got a couple of days up here. Plenty of time. Lots of people get rescued. He's been through this before. <laughs> I guess so. Hello. Your family arrived then. First, Brian, in all fairness, that we are not, in fact, the rescue committee. Oh, my gosh. On this, the occasion of your martyrdom. What? <laughs> and I'd just like to add on a personal note, my own admiration. <laughs> I just wanted to be a martyr. Goodbye, Brian. And thanks. Give it up, lad. Terrific work, Brian. Good job, Brian. You bastards! Yeah, what about the Romans? You stupid bastards! Uh, I'm Brian of Nazareth. Take him down! Oh. I'm Brian of Nazareth! I'm Brian! I'm Brian! Oh my gosh. Well, I'm only joking. I'm not really Brian. <laughs> it's a joke! I'm not him, I'm just having you on! Put me back! Put me back? Who's this? The Indian people, son! <laughs> Is this the other group? Suicide Squad! Attack! What? Suicide Squad? What? That showed them hurt. Oh my... Brian! Oh my, <laughs> this is person after person. Reg has explained it all to me, and I think it's great what you're doing. <laughs> I'll never forget you. Just take him down. So there you are! <laughs> Crucified. See if I care. <laughs> Everyone's just leaving him. Always look on <laughs> the bright side of life. Come on. They're all just joining in in song. <laughs> Always look on the bright. <laughs> just not anticipating a musical number. <laughs> no, a crucifixion musical number. Is what an ending. <laughs> All right, that was the life of Brian. What'd you think? <laughs> that was so good. That was wild. <laughs> that was just, I feel like we didn't even talk. It was just a lot of laughing. Definitely a lot of laughing, very little talking. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely different. It felt a lot different than the Holy Grail. Yeah. I feel like the Holy Grail had a lot of just random stuff. And even, I mean, this did have random stuff, but somehow, it was more cohesive. Yeah, it somehow felt more cohesive following Brian, especially towards the end of the movie. Brian was pretty much the same person going through these 
different scenarios. Yeah. So it wasn't like completely different little skits within yeah. the same storyline. This was really about Brian. Right. Yeah. So I, I like that the differences of this compared to the Holy Grail, mm -hmm. but this was just as funny. Yeah. There was some really hilarious moments in this. Yeah, no, I my favorite by far was Caesar? Yeah. Maybe Caesar? I don't know if that was Caesar or if they just kept saying Hail Caesar. Whatever. Yeah, so I don't know if that was him or not, but the lisp, I think, or yeah. that he had was great. That was so <laughs> funny. Just all of the other like guards trying so hard to not laugh. Just losing it. To biggest stickest who was a real person. And that was so great that he came and he also had like a little lisp. Yeah, no, I guess he had a lisp. Caesar maybe had, I don't know what you would call that. He couldn't say his R's. It was those R's, yeah. Right? yeah. That was super funny. Yeah, I think that, that was my favorite. Just taking like Brian up and just be like, <laughs> You want me to throw him to the floor again? Like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, throw him to the floor. And then they just pick him up and throw him down to the floor. But he was like barely off the floor. <laughs> I think I really liked when they were kind of describing why they hated the Romans so much. And like, what have the Romans ever done for us? And the first person was just like, Aquatuck? <laughs> They're like, oh, okay. And then it just kept going and going. They had done a lot. The Romans did a lot. Education, wine, sanitation. Yeah, roads. So, yeah, ro well, of course, roads. <laughs> like, that goes without saying. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a hilarious part. So definitely early on in the movie, there was some of those random kind of joke moments. Mm -hmm. Um, like the prisoner guy who was super jealous of being everyone got, got to be crucified where he just gets, I mean that is like worse I think he's living how long did he say he'd been in he's there? He's been like, in there for they, five years. Oh five? I thought it was longer than that but he is hung upside down. <laughs> was he always upside down or no I thought he was right side up. He no was. they said they just put him right side oh. up I thought <laughs> and he gets to be down for like what 20 it minutes 20 a day? Minutes. <laughs> That does sound pretty awful. Oh, and just the group of people who were fighting when I think that was supposed to be what, like Moses or something, like pretending to be up there, like, and they couldn't quite hear him because they were all of the, all the way in the back. Mm. I'm not quite sure, but that group of people, I like how they kind of made it to the end, especially the one guy who <laughs> he started the whole thing when the Roman soldiers came up and they're like, okay, which one of you is Brian? He's like, I'm Brian. And the fact that that guy was brought down and he was just like, oh, I'm only joking. Like, put me back. He got away just like the other guy uh, who was carrying his cross and the, the other guy offered to help. <laughs> he just bolted out of there. But then he could have gotten away the other time too when he was just like joking around about being. Oh, for, yeah, he, that's right. He, he's like, oh, no, I'm not here. I'm here for like to be. Oh, freedom. Uh, freedom. Yeah. And the yeah, guy was like, okay. Oh, oh, okay. He's like, oh, no, I'm just joking. I'm actually here for to be crucified. So there was a lot of, I mean, probably one of the more like shocking moments, I guess. The full frontal. The full frontal nudity of Brian. Just <laughs> not, not only was it shocking for us, but then it was shocking for Brian because he literally opened up the window and had all of his followers there. <laughs> that was definitely a hilarious moment. That, I mean, the whole idea of how like easy it is, I guess back in this day or time or whatever, where it's like, Everyone just was gravitating to someone to follow. And so Brian just did like literally nothing other than not. I think it all started because he didn't finish what he was saying. Yeah, like he was, well, he was, he fell down and he was just trying to blend in. Uh -huh. In order to blend in, all of the people that were up on that platform were talking about something, something. shouting <laughs> yeah. about whatever. And so that's what he did. And he stopped because the Romans were no longer there chasing yeah, he him. He didn't need to keep talking. And they were like, oh my God, it must be so important that he can't speak it or something. And it just kept escalating <laughs> all the way to the point where he was performing multiple miracles of the person who was like, I used to be blind, but I could see. And he falls in. I couldn't, I didn't speak for 18 years. Uh, he makes- He the, was pissed though. <laughs> that guy was pissed. He got, he, that guy got killed. <laughs> and and he, was, he like points to the bush and was he like- He lost his bush. <laughs> he lost his bush. He spoke for the first time, hurt his foot, got murdered by that group of people. Uh, another really funny moment was um, when Brian first joined the group. I don't, I don't even remember the names that they had. 
because even if I tried, I would probably say the other one that they hated that group no. who came and, and killed themselves at the, the very end. end. Yeah. But uh, his first like mission or whatever to write like Romans go yeah. home or whatever. <laughs> and it turns into a, a Latin lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar. <laughs> Yeah, a grammar lesson, and uh, you, you need to write this a hundred times, and you better do it before the sun comes up, or I'll come back and cut your balls off. That was really cool, though. That looked really awesome. Speaking of the animation in the very beginning. That was cool. Obviously, we really enjoyed the animation in Holy Grail. Yeah. And this was just also awesome. I mean, we didn't really get it throughout the story. No. Um, which I kind of wish we had, like we did in Holy Grail, but it was so cool. Like it, everything was super creative. Obviously you're watching Brian kind Grow of up. falling and growing up, but it was really cool to just see all the names like in like tattered clothing that was hanging. There was like leaves and... Yeah, it was super creative yeah. how they kind of did the opening credits. Yeah, while still simultaneously making like animated Brian go through all of these things. Right, a super clever movie. I think it touched on a handful of pretty controversial issues, especially for the time that this came out, which is actually pretty impressive. Yeah. Some of the stuff that they were talking about. Yeah. I don't really feel like there was anything like that in Holy Grail. I mean, Holy Grail was mostly like silly jokes, I feel like. Yeah. And tons of violence. Yeah. This movie had relatively no violence other than a, <laughs> a shot of 140 people getting crucified, having a musical at the end. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. I don't think... Yeah, because even the fight scenes weren't, like, crazy... No, it was just kind of people put, like pushing each other around yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like the budget for Monty Python and the Holy Grail went to just blood and stuff. And then the budget for this one was just in the, like, the sets and stuff that they were in. And speaking of, we did get uh, camels. There was some they animals. They actually had, had animals. Yeah, we had camels. There was at one point a real donkey, but then there was the fake donkey <laughs> that, that was lady on was the, like, Yeah, which I love that too. The guy that was selling the fake beards. That was like the, the haggling part? I just, just loved in him in general. He was selling the <laughs> fake beards to people, to women. Um, that, and then the haggling portion. And that also reminded me of one of the funnier parts in the beginning when uh, all of the women at the stoning. And he's like, do we have any women here? And it's literally all women. And whenever they would point someone out, they'd be like, it was her. It was her. I mean, it, oh, was, it, him. Was, it was him. It was him. <laughs> Their voices kept changing. And they, and they stoned the, the guy who was... The, like announcer yeah. guy. Man, what a crazy movie. Yeah. And I, I mean, Brian had like what? five opportunities or something like that to be saved by someone yeah and everyone just kept coming up and being like thanks brian and then walking away or his mom like oh you treated me so terrible and then the wind like they had all chanted his name outside and they were literally coming to release him until that other guy in his joking and his joke ways. ruined it <laughs> I really enjoy this, and I believe there's at least one more Monty Python, um, The Meaning of Life, I believe. Yeah. So I'm really excited to check this out because I love Holy Grail. That I've seen that one before and I saw it plenty of times. It was a ton of fun to watch with you. This was my first time watching Life of Brian, mm -hmm. and it still felt different, yet it was awesome to kind of see the same group of kind of comedians back, just seemingly having a blast messing around as Romans and stuff. Yeah, and I 100% want to check out more Terry Gilliam yeah. films. Yeah, we've seen- um, 12 Monkeys. We've seen 12 Monkeys and we've had a lot of rec recommendations for Brazil mm -hmm. and uh, a handful of others, I believe. Yeah. So just super creative stuff and I'm loving all of it. Yeah, me too. I really enjoyed this film and I'm excited to explore more. Yeah. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.